Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm so excited for this video. So this first project that we're going to be making is this wooden letter and you're going to need a paper mache letter, um, some glue, a pen, scissors, and these wooden dowel thingies, these wooden like planks. Um, I found all these supplies at Michael's for super inexpensive and these are very thin wood pieces that I'm going to actually use to cover this paper mache letter and the wood pieces I'm actually just going to cut to size. So this is a super simple DIY and it's pretty self-explanatory if you guys just watch what I'm doing. So basically I took these wood planks and I am cutting them to size. I'm cutting them kind of in a brick pattern. So like staggering on, staggering off. And this does take some time. It's actually kind of like therapeutic to just cut and place all of the pieces. And since the wood is so thin, it's pretty easy to just go along, trace out the outline of the piece you're gonna wanna cut, place it on. I actually opted to use hot glue instead of that fabric glue I was using. Um, it just seemed to stick a ton, a ton better. And you're just gonna do this all the way down the letter and you are essentially done with your wooden marquee letter. On to the next project, we have these felt wall hangings that could hold like a book or a magazine and all you're gonna need is a few felt sheets, a pen, some glue and scissors, and a thumbtack or a nail. And you guys, this DIY literally cost me a quarter for the whole project, one quarter. So you're going to take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of felt, cut it in half uh, vertical wise, like I guess hot dog style, um, and then fold it into thirds and glue each third down as shown here. So you're just going to fold it into thirds and glue it down on all the sides to basically create a very skinny strip that's going to be super sturdy. And you're going to double these up, so create two of them. You can get two of them from one eight and a half by 11 sheet glue them together, set a few books on top of it and let it dry, and then hammer a nail or a tack into the wall, slip your book in, and you are done. I hope that was pretty self-explanatory. So I was really into this felt and I had some leftover, so I opted to also make this little pocket and you're gonna use the same exact supplies as the other one, just a pen, glue, scissors, and felt. This pocket only costs 50 cents, you guys. I used two eight and a half by 11 sheets of felt, glued them together just around the edge, basically securing the pocket section. And then I folded down the top flap of the pocket and I glued either side down. And that's all you have to do to create this pocket. And I think it looks really expensive too. It almost looks felted and you can put like a TV remote, a plant, uh, whatever you want in here. It's just like a little pouch for your wall. This wall hanging is super light, super airy, and super easy to make. All you're gonna need is some eucalyptus stems, a wooden dowel, some scissors, string, and I opted not to use the black paint. And all you have to do for this DIY is take your eucalyptus clippings and wrap the ends of them with your, right, with your white thread or whatever color thread you're wanting to work with. Um, this is just going to kind of conceal those ends and make it look a little bit more put together. Tie it in a knot um, right when you get to the end of that, and this is what's going to be hanging off of the wooden dowel. So you're essentially just going to repeat this process for all of your little eucalyptus pieces, and you can vary the amounts you want uh, depending on how long your dowel is or how big you want your wall hanging to be. So I just wrapped up about seven pieces of this and laid them out in a fashion that I thought was nice. And when I cut the string, I just left a lot of excess just so I had room to work with. And you're simply going to tie the eucalyptus pieces on to the dowel and you're essentially all done. Um, you could hang it up on your wall. This is great for a dorm room too because it's super light and you could take it down very easily. And I think this would look so amazing above your bed. This last DIY is super cool. Um, it's very geometric and minimal, and all you're going to need is a white pillowcase, some white yarn, a pen, glue, scissors, and a ruler. And I'm starting out with my pen and ruler, and I'm just creating a few geometric shapes. These are completely random. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to them at all. I just drew them out wherever I thought would be nice on the pillow. And I do want to mention that after doing this DIY, I did notice that the glue did make this pen run. So I honestly would prefer you guys use a pencil first and then go over in the end with the pen so that the glue doesn't run. And I am filling in the little spaces or the interior of my drawn out shape with the yarn. So I'm every single um, 
strand of yarn is cut and placed and this is kind of tedious but it really creates a very lovely texture that I think would look great on your bed or couch or chair or, or wherever you really want to put this decorative throw pillow and you're just going to repeat it on all of this um, it's kind of time time consuming like the first project we did the letter but trust me it'll turn out really great and I'm doing this to all three of them and I opted not to fill up the entire um, shape just because I thought that it would look really cool having some open white space in there and then I also went around the edges of all of the shapes to sort of clean it up it didn't come out as clean as I would have liked and overall this is what it turned out to look like I think it looks really great and very Urban Outfitters inspired uh, so that's the designer throw pillow Should I be glad to meet me? I think you should.